converting leads into other types of sales records. Let's say you've been following up with your leads and for some of those leads you've determined that there's a chance of generating potential sales or business opportunities. The next step is to convert those leads into other types of sales records. So let's go into our leads. Okay, and let's say I've been talking to this particular lead and determined that there's um, business opportunities that can be further explored with this lead. So now I'm going to convert this lead by clicking on the convert button. And at this point, you will be creating a new account called Naturally Yours. This is the company name for this lead and a new contact which is the name of the lead. So in other words, what will happen is that all the details from the lead record will be transferred into these two records and the lead status will be changed to converted. Now, take note that once a lead has been converted, the process cannot be reversed. So you can't undo the conversion once you've done it. So once you're sure that you want to proceed with converting this lead, you can click convert here and now. So let's do that, convert. And now the lead has been converted into an account and a contact. And I can click accounts here to see that naturally yours has been converted into an account and Chuk Kei Tang has been converted into a contact. Now let's go back and um, convert another one of our leads. Okay, now I'm going to convert this lead. So the same thing, all the lead details can be transferred into these two types of records, an account and a contact. But at this point, we can also create a new potential for this account. Now a potential represents business opportunity coming from this particular account and contact, which can generate revenue for your organization. 15 boxes of 50 by 5 pounds, white, Brazilian Mountain Coffee and um, the closing date for this potential is the 30th of September. Now every potential goes through different stages in the sales process so you're asked to enter at which stage this particular potential is at right now. Now let's say we're almost at the end of this um, of the sales pipeline so we're already at the negotiation and review stage. I'm gonna select that here and the role of our contact person is uh, purchasing and the total amount that I could earn from this particular business opportunity is 25,000 so I put that in here okay and now I'm gonna click convert now you'll see that three sales records have been created from my lead there's the account there's the contact and now we have something called a potential. I could click on this right now to see the details for this particular potential and you'll see that since I put the stage at negotiation and review, Zoho CRM has calculated the probability of winning this particular opportunity at 90 percent and expected revenue is 90 percent of the total amount which was um, 25,000 so expected revenue at this point is 22,500. And here are some records associated with the potential. Now at this point, I can also do some research on my competitors for this particular opportunity and put their information right here. So I could say new here. Okay, and the name of my competitor after I've done my analysis. Um, let's see. Let's put something here. Okay, they don't have a website for now and um, their strength is lower pricing and I'm going to click save at this point okay and I can also define further activities related to this particular potential and when I click potential you'll see that I have a number of potentials here. This is the last one that I just added. And I can go to reports 
and I can generate reports related to my potential. So I can um, click this one, pipeline by probability. And here are my potentials. One of them is at 20% probability, another one, two of them is at 75% probability, and one of them is at 90% probability.